<laughs> so when you ask me what it is it like about the overnight success, it feels like a dream to be truthful. Um, it's that I, I didn't envision this. I didn't expect it to happen that fast. And as fast as things have happened, you almost uh, wonder, like, um, wow, why didn't I do this sooner? That is a good question. So many people sit there and they make excuses for themselves or they live in fear. Sometimes you just got to get out there and you got to take a chance on yourself. You have to do what, Devin? You have to take action. It's one of the biggest things I teach. And just as you were saying, once you've taken action, you frequently wish, well, why didn't I do that sooner? And so you just start, take action now. You know, James, a lot of people say, well, I can't get ahead. And then they fill in their negative. I have this wrong with me or I am this. And they hold themselves back. Can you let the audience know, because this is radio, who are you? What are the some of the things that typically people would use an excuse to hold them back? Uh, here's who I am. I am simply a guy that... I was uh, told that the greatest career you could have is working in a factory. Third generation, my grandfather, my grandmother, my mother, everyone put in a 40-year career. And they said, what's great about it is the factory will always be here. Well, that's not the case. Technology changes. Things happen. Had I just stayed on that path, I'd be being laid off right now. That's the threat. And the thing is that I didn't like, I was on a fixed income. You see, when you go to work with um, a factory job, Devin, can you imagine no matter how hard you work, no matter how early you showed up, how late you stayed, no matter how many hours you put in, um, you had a fixed rate that you were going to be paid no matter what. If a person got hired six weeks before you and they were counted in a different class, they could be paid twice as much as you do and for a four-year contract just based on when they came in or the fact that you work beside people that don't show up to work and those people get paid the very same thing you do even though you show up every day. There's no difference. Can that you imagine be, a career like that? No, that would be crazy to me. I, uh, My dad's always taught me work based off of results. If I can get five times as much done in an hour as anybody else. I want to be paid five times as much as anybody else's. And yet, the UAW is on strike while we record this, which is what James is talking about. And you really can't pay. They're not even fighting to get more pay. They just want a higher dollar per hour rate. They don't want to be paid based on results. I find that all of my friends that really make a lot of money, the superstars, they get paid based on results. Whether you're a movie star, whether you run a business, or you start your own business and grow it, whatever it is that you're doing, if you choose to get paid based on results, you have control and you can get five times as much. You don't have to ask your boss for a raise. If, however, you get paid by the hour, even if you make $500 an hour, there's only 168 hours in the week. You can't scale that. You can't get an unlimited amount of money. And you have to trade your time for money every step of the way. But, Eric, I, the president's getting $29 million. Why can't I get more? Well, he has friends in high places. And <laughs> until we, us normal commoners go out and can cheat the system. Oh, wait, did I say cheat on the air? When we can manipulate people and get them to do our bidding so we don't actually have to provide value, then we can get some temporary funds and end uh -huh. up like, oh, wait, let's pick on both parties. We got Mitch McConnell. We've got Nancy Pelosi. We've got all these career politicians. What have they produced before you were producing a physical object. You were building a car, which provided value to people. And right. the car companies, they're doing pretty well. And the people that work there, like you said, this is a multi-generational thing. We were in the Ford company, 
And these people wait for years just to get picked up. And then they're set for life. That's all they were ever taught. Devin, is that what I taught you is go wait in line for the perfect job? No, you didn't tell me to go wait in line. You told me to create the line, build the business Mm -hmm. and have other people work for you. And going back, you were just mentioning the government doesn't provide value. The their jobs like the government may provide a lot of jobs but not jobs that produce anything james was working in a factory they built cars the government they don't build cars at best they pay other people to build weapons of machine or uh, weapons of war hey, wait was- wait wait Devin, i gotta <laughs> ask you something how is it if you're making 125 thousand as a senator let's say in california and your name's nancy let's say just for example they they are able to end up with 74 million dollars why don't they teach us how they have an that investment plan if you can take a hundred thousand and be a year and become a 70 million dollar earner in your career i mean that's amazing are they just that much better at the stock market i i don't know what they're investing in but i sure would like to see that before portfolio and see how I can get in on some of those returns. 